Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel Alisa Tropical Fruit Tree. So today I would like to update for you early uh, spring how's my garden front yard going guys. So because I would like to show you every single step we have, okay? So I'm very excited to show you around at the front yard garden guys. Look, everything so beautiful. Is it my orange tree? my avocado my foyer table full of flower that's amazing crazy and the more exciting to show you guys is uh, i didn't do the video guy because when i do the mulch okay when i going to do the mulch so i break my chalk my uh, post office avocado and what happened is i grafting on my uh, here my foyer table tree and my 40 full of flower and then not only that guy looks crazy and flowers some open some are not yet and plus we got one fruit from the last year here it is oh look at the bottom it's getting a bit dark that's the one only one from last year and we have a few uh, of the seedless guys here so here see that so it is a fruitless and I think one more here they never grow that one but the flower was crazy right and the excited part I would like to show you is it's my been two two year yeah I tried to graft in my uh, post office right so my post office is never success at all I do more than 10 guys I try to do the one seedling in a pot I try to do on the big seedling in the pot i try to do the seedling in the ground whatever i do it not success at all but this time i put on my foyer tape guy and look at it so this is my uh post office avocado i i break by accident when i try to put the mold at the backyard and now look at that leaf it's coming out that's crazy right so hopefully this guy success for me and uh, you can tell there's a little leaf coming out now and the stem very green, very sorry very green so i'm very excited that one i will keep video film for you guys for the next future for the future so see how it going look at this i'm trying to touch in guy because i don't want to ruin it so it's working i've been grafting maybe two weeks ago on my foyer tie it be it's successful so i'm so excited i'm very happy because i always try i very want every single two or more than two i try to be back up because uh joy a uh, real life fruitopia he always say i need he need a backup that's why every single tree i have is more than two or three more than that okay that's why I try to make up because when you lose, you still have another. That's the make sense, right? So I'm very excited for that one, and I hope you guys enjoy this video or two. Okay, we're going back to update our front yard. So this is my foyer tie. Look at this guy. It was crazy, full of flower and very early. This guy's always early. Okay, and my next door is a uh, <coughs> red avocado. This guy been two and a half year, so next year April will be three year. All of them at the front yard, and the fruit getting bigger, guy. I don't want to say lower because this is a front yard. <laughs> look at it, that's amazing. You look at the bottom here, that's crazy, right? Ah, look at that. Three, four in there, and look, this one just sit on the ground. Look at it. It's nice very beautiful the red avocado is very heavy crop guy that's you like to grow avocado i think a red is beautiful to grow in melbourne they're very good with the with the weather colds and hot it doesn't matter for them but as long you don't give them too much water they don't like wet feet guys all avocado okay so that's all you front of my back front yard guys so that's a tree Around the front here, I grow um, lemon guava. I start to grow now. Look, and the new growth is for a lot of flower. So that's a lemon guava, lemon guava, or you call yellow cherry guava. That's the only one I have is a purple, purple guava, or we call a strawberry guava. 
been two years now i haven't have one fruit yet because the fruit too small the taste very tangy yucky this year still the same i'm not sure i might pull it out we'll see first okay and um yeah so this is my lime tree lime tree tahitian lime starting flower start settle the fruit now i'm not expecting my guy i just want them to grow first this one we already lost one the same the same variety and look at that a lot of new growth coming which is exciting my apple tree pink lady last year have none of fruit for me because of the weather and they have some fruit but the fruit look like a rotted and this is my maya lemon this start to grow better now guys and this last year have no fruit this year they have some fruit and the good thing i want to concentrate with grow so beautiful so tiny maybe half a meter <laughs> two years the ground guy that's a two years old would you believe me that's two years old lemon but this one is a fruit whole year round They're very good and my lena mulberry i just get them a net today guys you can see the red spot that's a fruit i have to net it before the bird happy for me okay because i don't i'm not happy if they have a fruit before me because i get the water fertilizer everything see the red one there so many fruit super beautiful and the fruit was very nice and fruit very big too guys to see my love, my um purple guava or we call um strawberry guava look the new grow so stunning and everything the new grow is a flower guy you look closer so nice look at that a lot of flower but no fruit i haven't had a good taste yet because fruit too small anyway hopefully this time this year because the weather was very good you better give me a good fruit <laughs> and this is my cassette apple applicant pride guide the list all gone i said you very a pro but i thought maybe no good but look at that they start a new shoot coming all of them here we go so three okay this one too yeah so it's when they lose the list early they grow early as well so don't panic in too much with us castle apple with my experience but sometimes you have a bad luck as well with the castle apple but most of them if you have a lot of luck like you have a luck like 85 percent of the bad luck because they grow better than uh, then not growing all right so very good and this is my um casted red pamelo i lost the symbol now i don't know where it's gone because too much windy so anyway so many new grow coming i forgot to update for you guys last time i said i have citrus only eight actually i have 10 because this is my uh, casted red pamelo and i have another number of, uh Pamelo as well, but I forgot to show you guys. Anyway, hope you guys like this video and please don't forget to give me thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And that's my uh, sugar cane. I've been transferred them two years in the ground, guys. I bought this one fifteen dollar. My partner bought it for me two years ago in a port we got from the guy in a uh, springwell. Maybe may need to go beautiful so that's the sugar cane and of course my feel my uh, white supporter this is uh, wilson oh i saw the flower guy oh look at that oh look at the hiding this one guy that's a flower so this is a wilson wilson white supporter so amazing flower I think I have one grafting it's success for me from early this year and another flower coming to guy here we go so slowly coming flower so been two years in the ground guy I have to show you how small it is 
when I transfer them in the ground. You will be shocking two years ago. And this is my uh, Kampong Sal Pollinate. I'm not sure they have any uh, flower. They have some before around here, but too early around June. That's why the flower doesn't hold it. But anyway, I will check around a bit. So. Yeah. Not sure, still a lot of new growth coming to annoy because the uh, new growth always got bring some new for you. We'll be surprised you all the time, anyway. And yeah, so that's my uh, campong. There's another flower here, guys. This is my Wilson. See, and this one is here also. So, very good Wilson flower. My campong, sad flower, but come on, let's see another new growth coming. Who knows? Could be this one. <laughs> and my lemon go. Lemon go is a heavy crop. Lemon go. I haven't seen any flower coming yet, guys. See nothing. But anyway, I will keep update for you. The two stems here I cut from last time from my grafting. Anyway, I don't like to grow like this. Anyway, I have to cut a bit more from here, maybe. So, give me graph. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's my what's a potted lemon go. I will show you in how small they when I put them in the ground, guy. So you guys see, this is my uh, lemon gone. See how small it is? That two years ago I've been transferred them into the ground. Very small, right? Look, the lace not my lace at all. And the middle here, my kampong. <laughs> you would be shocked two years ago, that's my kampong. By supporting. Kampong. Yeah, see how small? And now in two years, and I will show you one more. <coughs> so super small. And here is my Wilson guy. So you see that has small it is. So three of them is very small. Bit shocking, right? I couldn't believe my tree two years old growing so far. So this like uh, only three hundred cm tall, not even half a meter. So after two years later on, then they grow very far. So you see how small it is compared to uh, now. It's very big boy now. <laughs> One over there, I think two and a half meter to three meter tall in high. That's about 1.2, the middle one here. Kampong, 1.2 to 1.4. And this one's about two meter because taller than me. That one, Wilson. And then, okay, so yeah, you got interesting with white sapote. You cannot buy them in the supermarket or anywhere. It's so hard to buy because they bruise easy. I love the flavor. Yeah. Beautiful. You got test one, you guys would love it. And yeah, and very easy to grow in Melbourne, guys. That's what I suggest. Number two of this grow of one is a GGB is very easy this is super easy too no need look after much if you want to grow something easy you know like not give you a time not take your time to look after so that's the best why support it and uh be is the best even citrus but citrus still you still give them a fertilizer a little bit and look at that gorgeous right beautiful anyway we go back to our business so this is my coffee lime coffee lime a lot of new grow coming very good i use them a lot i use the leaves mainly i use the leaf for cooking curry soup tom yum stir fry sometimes i do some deep fry i call that coffee lime that's to cut down the smell of the fish which is good right and they good benefit anyway and now in she pear, no fruit, been two years in the ground now. I keep pruning them a lot too because I don't want them too tall. 
And anyway, they keep moving now. Look at that a big swollen, swollen lump. So it is about to burst, which is exciting. Hopefully, we, I get a little bit of fruit each tree, which is exciting for me. <laughs> and that's my um, Japanese seedless. Oh, the tag, it come on. The one that lose the tag. Oh, I don't know, just put down here maybe. So the Japanese seedless. Oh, slow fertilizer a lot of flower this one gave me constantly constant constantly fruit as well but the first time i think seven and then the first year of seven fruit and then the last summer it gave me like a 12 11 fruit so slowly they give me more and this year look the tree getting a lot bigger look at the flower going this is crazy you see the little lump is everywhere so i think this year i will be get more fruit and you can harvest thing around June. Maybe this year could be harvesting earlier because warm and flower come early, who knows? And yeah, come to see my oranges. Oranges tree is super beautiful flower, super beautiful. Uh, look at that, flower coming, the fruit and the leaves super green. I think this guy which is a bit uh, com confusing because around June, July, they flower and they set the fruitless guy so this flower i think because we get a little bit warm around july so that's why we get some fruit and i said oh there's so little fruit because so many fruit in the tree maybe i said oh next crop i won't have any fruit but the tree was surprising me and now look at that a million of flower coming you can't see mine because now they're still small but one day flower open she's beautiful and smells like a jasmine orange flower smell amazing when you just walk past so this one my uh, valencia seedless very juicy very juicy and sweet guy if you will like it i suggest you going to uh, valencia because that's the only one i have and thank god they're very sweet when i bought them from supermarket they taste funny sometimes taste not nice sour and uh seed is a bit annoying so i like to have a fruit leg and this one maybe i wait a little bit more i want to do some airline or i could be grafting to some other tree at the back yeah because i have so many uh what we call i have so many um mandarin guy at the back and the fruit is super small especially it's imperial imperial the fruit is so small so yeah, I mind grafting on that tree or maybe I do air laying on this one because I love the fruit so much guys and I love oranges especially more than uh, mandarin because you can have as much you can like oranges you can have every day but mandarin is that for myself okay is I have too much mandarin I feel my throat is a bit uh, funny but oranges okay I can drink a lot I can have a lot that's fine very heavy crop and so happy all right move to the next my tamiro tree tamiro starting flower all the poor i finish all of them i try to save in the tree to look but guy keep falling so <laughs> all gone now sorry i didn't film any for you guys and only this fruit is uh this surprise too they come flower the wrong time and now they hold one fruit that's all and they got another fruit Look at that beautiful flower start coming every single new grow guy. Look at that. Nice. Everywhere. I think the flower is still a bit small, so hard to see. Look at the little flower. Yeah, anyway, this is my time mirror. But don't worry, the tree doesn't it's not last long like other tree like uh, oranges or avocado this year may be around five six years they they die anyway so no straight you have no room you can grow next to the house that's all right too because the tree doesn't last it's similar like a pineapple or oh, sorry similar like a papaya tree though it does not lie either the the egg may be around three four five year max i think because they're not 
stay for whole life or stay for 10 20 years not they they not last so this is all right so i put next to it here next to my um brick to the wall so supporting a little bit the wind but this this area is very good guy right? it's full of summer it get hot the whole day which is good that's why everything here doing very well because the sun is right up there there's a i think there's a east yeah that's east so in the area you can see and then there's a way that's why so whole day around they get full of sun but sometimes summer is too hot for them but anyway they love it look i love avocado tree look beautiful flower especially my oranges tree beautiful and come here we got um some my lemon guava the fruit getting bigger guys is someone asking me or uh, of what do you put in your tree what fertilizer do you use i think from the first few years you get a small fruit that's my opinion but that's my experience okay then after that the fruit getting slowly here the time by will be the fruit getting bigger and yeah this that's my two tree this is my two tree to uh, the lemon guava, the yellow and sweet and big one. And look at this middle one here. I saw the dead, but anyway, this is my restitute. Restitute grow very slow, guys. Super slow. I've been have this like one and a half year in the ground, guys. There's nothing growing die back all the time. Look. But thank God it's still survived. I bought three and one is dead. My grafting of uh, Russia to the mulberry. So this I'll show you. That's the one I have in the ground and start rooting. Hopefully got a new growth. Okay. And uh, that's my one. My number two here. My number two here is grafting. But the grafting is dead. See this graft? Here. That's dead. But this one is seedling. So... Oh, not sure but my partner said leave it to grow so one they grow properly they grow a little bit bigger trunk so i can grab play around to it so oh, that's a great idea i cut it later on i cut from here then i grab from my uh, red shirt again they very slow grow guy i know um joy said to me i why i have so many tree of red shirt he got only one he can't even finish the fruit but guy look at me it's that one already okay and i don't know for how long my tree getting grow to joy side so it's okay is i have too many by the by the time i have my tree big like him i was happy but i have too many i can share to my neighbor or i share to my friend or i can sell some make money to change get my fertilizer for my tree right so that's a funny i mean that's a exciting part too when you make little money you can change some to fertilizer or you can buy some uh, you know it oil or something in future i'm not saying now because now i don't even have any fruit for myself to eat but maybe it could be next five ten years then i'll have a lot of fruit then we think about that what i can do with the fruit don't don't worry if we have so many fruit we share we share to the friend we share to the people all right guys that's all my video for today update all my friends yet uh, early or spring hope you guys enjoy this video so this is my exciting part is my avocado post office i grafting on my foyer tape so that's my first exciting and it's success guy that's amazing all right guys my video getting long again i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you so much for to everyone watching this video and then supporting my channel always and i wish you guys uh all the best and i will like see you in my next video guys bye but please don't forget give me thumbs up share and subscribe if you haven't have a good one guys bye bye